in this section, we will take a closer look at some self-service scenarios. First, we need to configure FIM to allow users to access the portal. In the previous section on group management, when the users accessed the portal, this first part was already configured. In order for a user to successfully authenticate against the FIM portal and the FIM service, the FIM service database needs to have some information about the user. There are three required attributes that need to be set. The account name, domain and object zip. The easiest way to get this information is to import it from AD. What we do is we update the inbound synchronization and modify the FIM service MA attribute flow to make sure these three attributes are populated in the FIM service database. Once the information is imported to the FIM service, the user should be able to successfully authenticate against the FIM portal. But the user will not have any permissions in FIM, so he won't even be able to see the portal. We need to look at the MPRs and make sure we enable a couple of them to allow users access. The first MPR is the General Users Can Read Non-Administrative Resources. When you enable this MPR, you basically allow users to see objects in the portal. But with only the general MPR enabled, the user will not be able to even find himself. So we also need to enable the MPR allowing users to see some information about themselves. If there are attributes in the target resource setting in this default MPR that you do not want users to be able to read, you would need to modify the attribute list. The user will then be able to find themselves, but if they try to read information about other users, they won't be able to do so. With that, users can now successfully authenticate and get a basic view of the FIM portal. If you add users manually to the FIM service, and there is no connection to AD for these objects, you need to manually set the object SID. You may do this for some admin accounts not in scope for your ADMA. Information about how to do that can be found on the internet. I, myself, use a small piece of PowerShell script that does the job. The biggest problem when allowing users to access the FIM portal is to get the required attributes populated on all users. In the next part, we will look at the most common self-service scenario in FIM, the self-service password reset feature.